Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have what are their true intentions in love and uh, yeah, we have these cards here. Today we're using uh, my Oracle deck that's going to be available pretty soon, right? We have what are their we have their true intentions on the back with the moon uh, and kind of uh, this kind of and the ocean here, very mysterious looking. And so and we have some other Oracle cards here too and Sagittarius uh, somebody wants another chance with you. It's right here. And also, I feel like this person's watching you uh, on some, you know, probably trying to figure out if they can have another chance, right? I mean, isn't that, wouldn't that be the right reason? I feel like it is, uh, amongst others, possibly. Uh, yeah, they want to see if you're, you know, if you're with somebody else or, you know, maybe they can tell if you moved off to, you know, uh, Brazil, Sao Paulo, who knows? <laughs> <clears throat> and we have reminiscing. This person's also reminiscing with the camera. <clears throat> and it talks about learning from the past as well. Yeah. They also want to make new memories with you, Sagittarius. Maybe they want to take pictures of you, like, you know, naked. Who knows? I mean, I'm just throwing that out there. Could be, right? I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it. But, you know, as long as that's between you and that person, for sure, right? Uh, not like this craziness that people do, uh, posting, you know, themselves, uh, even have people who have been in power. They, uh, you know, they're trying to contact other, pe other young people and they're showing their naked body. Yeah. I think they took that person down, but all the other ones that have never not been found out about, trust me, they're still there. They are. And so, <laughs> you know, it's not, if it wasn't true or, you know what I mean? It would be funny, but it's more tragic. Okay. We have sunglasses too. And your person's, uh, as I said, they're watching you mm -hmm. and, uh, they're trying to get, uh, we have perception twice here. They're trying to gain like a perspective on you, like where you're at in your love life probably. And, uh, we have the twin flames card here. We do Mm-hmm. And, uh, this is, you know, complimenting each other and this can be duality and just the whole thing, right? Balance, union. Uh, I feel like this person is probably a twin flame. Let's see what else we have for Sagittarius and their person. And I hope you guys are all well. Yeah. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius and their person. We have the braid. Okay. So maybe this person wears braids, uh, Mm -hmm. But this is, is usually about kind of identity or survival. It can talk about like, it can just talk about maybe something's boring or something is just kind of sometimes hanging on a basic thread, right? Because, uh, because of this card, it's usually about like identity kind of like, okay, well, what do I really want? Like they're seeing themselves maybe like an identity crisis. I can talk about that. Let's see what else we have though for Sagittarius and their person. And we have the body. Yeah, this person's missing your body. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they are Sagittarius. And we have Sandro Cisneros here. And uh, she was uh, a Chicana. I feel, I feel like she was a Chicana, but long story short, I mean, she's probably, maybe she's still alive, right? I shouldn't say was, but you know, she's here holding the papaya, which in her mind, uh, is, you know, the papaya represents, uh, two things, right? Uh, fruit with a lot of enzymes in it uh, to help you take care of your stomach and your body, right? Uh, enzymes are super important, helps you digest your food. And, uh, just, uh, I could go on about it, but, uh, it's also, you know, indicative of the vagina. Yeah. So, Today we're having a sex ed class, but you know, we're teaching about real anatomy, not some fake BS over here and trying to turn kids. No, we're not trying to do that here. And so, <laughs> you know, here she is, but the vagina, this is, uh, this talks about your sexual relationship with them. This person is missing you. They're missing your body. Yeah. And I'm sure you guys know some songs. Uh, I feel like there's a hip hop song about that a whole bunch of songs, right? About that. Let's see what else we have for Sagittarius and their person. We have the identity card. Look at that. And I was talking about the braid. This person has gone through uh, an identity crisis. Like, what do I want for my life? Who am I really? I thought I was possibly, I thought I was in love with, you know, Jojo, but I'm in love with, uh, Kiki, something like that. Right. <laughs> it could be right. But, uh, 
interesting uh she has her legs upside down and the blood's dripping here uh yeah it's a little uh, intense right but uh you know this is about a feminine feminism uh, about a feminist uh, we're not really talking about feminism today no we're not we're talking about uh most likely here uh somebody's kind of uh, heartfelt love for you yeah mm -hmm. uh, yeah we are and so, you know, I feel like your person with the braid, uh, either you or them could have really kind of looked at your life and said, well, uh, uh, I'm off to see the wizard and the wizard is Sagittarius or your person is the wizard. Like, uh, I need, you know, I need to go be with Sagittarius. That's how this reading looks. It looks like they have questioned their life and they really miss your body. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they miss making memories with you. This, wow, this is beautiful. Let's get another card for Sagittarius and their person. And we have the book. And so, you know, this can talk about something being revealed. Sometimes it talks about hope. I feel like this person wants to come and tell you that they love you. I'm pretty sure here. And, you know, with this revelation, sometimes it can talk about a secret. They probably have been holding, holding this back. I feel like your person... Or you have gone through some type of an awakening, probably a disturbing one when we see the identity in the braid, like, wow, because I feel like this uh, awakening most likely is kind of has threatened their survival or their identity has threatened. I don't mean their survival with their food, Sagittarius, and you need to bring them a papaya. No, I don't mean that, although that's what the powers of be want, right? A lot of food processing plants have been... Uh, mysteriously gone <clears throat> a lot of uh, cows and chickens mysteriously gone yeah guys you have to ask yourself why <clears throat> yeah so let's get back to this Sagittarius unless you guys both love uh what is it unless you guys both love uh you know papayas it sounds like this person is missing your vagina <laughs> that's how it sounds so let's get into the reading you guys you could be saying ooh. <laughs> Let's see, we got the first Sagittarius in their person. Today, we're using the Housewives deck. And, you know, we have to use this Sagittarius because uh, we haven't been cleaning. No, we've been too busy, right? Trying to uh, trying to kind of stay on top of uh, what they throw at us, at what they are throwing at us daily. That, that's if you're paying attention. If you're sleeping, you won't notice uh, that they're uh, every day throwing something uh, new. It's for a distraction, and it is for... Uh, for destruction. Yeah, uh -huh. it is. So let's get back to this. And uh, if you're listening, we weren't talking about your person. No. So, you know, with this deck, we have kind of like the uh, traditional tablecloth here, right? Mm -hmm. Used to go to an Italian restaurant. You see the checkerboard, uh, the checkerboard tablecloth. And for me, you know, I love Italian food. And so therefore I love, uh, it's very traditional and it's very comforting, right? And I remember this, uh, these tablecloths that they used to have at the pizzeria when I was a kid, right? So let's get into this. You could be going, I don't care about your past memories, power and light. You might be saying that, but that's okay, right? So what I was going to say about this deck, Sagittarius, I'm having fun today. <laughs> yeah, I am. What I was going to say about this deck is that, uh, oh yeah, last time when I was doing the reading with this deck a week or so, you know, I'll probably use this deck maybe once a week, but uh, you know, it's like I, I said that I'm going to live precar precariously through this deck, which was, you know, a Freudian slip. Good God, it was uh, because I meant vicariously. Yeah, I did kind of like soccer moms. You know, some of them wanted to be, you know, big time athletes, some right or some time some type of athlete. So now they got their kids in soccer. Right. And so they live vicariously through their kids. And that's fine. Right. Uh, let's see what we have uh, at the bottom of the deck already. We have the fool and uh, this person wants to come and take a chance on you. Yeah, take a chance as you dance in romance. That's what's going on here. And, you know, uh, this card, Sagittarius, the fool, you know, she's jumping off of the rooftop. Like, I'm getting out of here. You know, somebody could be leaving their home uh, for some. Uh, but it is really, uh, it is indeed or definitely about, you know, about somebody who wants to take a chance, a risk. She's dropping all her makeup. She looks like she's going to a job interview, although women in the 50s didn't have to work. No, now they have to have two or three jobs, even if they have a husband. Yeah, it is like that for a lot of people. Uh, you also have to ask yourself why, all right? Yeah, 
They got a lot of young people uh, not understanding because they haven't seen, they don't know about history. Yeah. And so let's get back to this, Sagittarius. So, you know, maybe your person is like jumped off the rooftop and dropped all their makeup and they don't give a shit, right? They're just coming. <laughs> they could just be showing up here. And uh, she even dropped her wallet and she doesn't care. She has a smile on her face and she's not going back to get it. No, this is a very uh, demonstrative or telling picture. She's not going back to get it. She's like, I'm on my journey and I have to go. If I have to leave my perfume here, uh, my wallet, even my ring, maybe they're leaving their wedding ring somewhere. Who knows? But she's like, uh, I'm on my way here. Okay, I'll go buy some new makeup or yeah, I'll go buy that stuff if I need to. So let's see what we have. And uh, I feel like this is going to be a, a very cool reading. Let's see what we got for Sagittarius and their person. Yeah, let's see what we got for Sagittarius and their person. We have the Two of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords. This is what's on your mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what we got. Five of Swords is the challenge. Four of Swords is what you want. You want to revitalize this. Here's the lady doing her avocado and cucumber mask. Yes, she is, right? Looking real cute here. Mm-hmm. And so this is, you know, to recoup something, to heal it, it is. And we have the Ten of Pentacles is showing up in your fear or doubt. Doesn't always have to be a fear, no. The Fool card in your person's recent past, right? We just shuffled. Mm -hmm. They're on. They're in transition to come and get you, Sagittarius. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they can't wait to make love to you, Sagittarius. So hell yeah, with this card, the body. Yeah, they should just rename that card and call it the vagina. Why not, right? Yeah. The vagina and the papaya. <laughs> That's what I think. We have the death card and the challenge. And the tower card is what they want. Okay, and this is... You know, really interesting here because the tower here, we have Carmen Del Rio. I think that's her name. It was a Brazilian dancer here. Uh, this is the, the uh, I'm not going to say the improved version, but the newer version of her, right? And so here's this woman and uh, she's a, <clears throat> she's a jello mold. That's her skirt, right? Has all this delicious pineapple or, you know, uh, on the little cherries, all these uh, really nice fruits in here. And so this card, the tower talks about breaking the mold and remaking it uh, much like the tower kind of like bring down the old and bring in the new the tower can mean that your person has uh four major arcanas and they have only five cards here this is major for your person they're trying to come and rescue you or rescue themselves when they come when they show up for you that's that's what this person is trying to do they're trying to rescue themselves like i have to be with sagittarius yeah, I miss the vagina. What else? Maybe they miss your braids, Sagittarius, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness here, right? And uh, <clears throat> so let's see here. And Sagittarius, in the past, you were going back and forth all about this. The Two of Pentacles is here. You have the Ace of Cups here. Uh, this is a brand new beginning in love. For sure it is. And uh, you were going back and forth about whether or not you were going to have this. Yeah, that's what you were doing here. Here's the housewife, and uh, she's trying to figure out what she's going to do, but you're trying to figure out, like, you know, play with her dog or or wash the dishes or, you know, little Tommy's pulling at her skirt. Like, come on, Mom, uh, you know, uh, let's go play Cowboys and Indians outside, right? That's what they used to call it. You call it Cowboys and Natives if you want, uh, right? It's totally fine here, uh, but, you know, we're not trying to diss anybody, but we're not trying to be politically in, uh, politically correct. No, we're not, because that's a, a mind-screw, divide-and-conquer tactic. Tactic It is, right? Just don't, yeah. But let's get back to this, right? So the Ten of Swords, uh, Sagittarius, is going to be what's on your mind, Right? And so, you know, you could be this, you could know that this person is trying to end something, right? You could. Yeah, we're definitely not trying to disrespect anybody here, right? Just calling it what they used to call it, right? And so uh, here, <clears throat> and I respect everybody, but I also know that these person, these people are just trying to c c uh, control your, your thoughts and your language. So very 1984 right now. Go read the book. 
You should really read that book if you don't understand what's happening right now. So <clears throat> anyway, it's called 1984. Let's get back to this though. The Ten of Swords showing up here and we see the pin cushion. All right. And this is what's on your mind. <laughs> and so I know you don't want to sew anything here, Sagittarius. I doubt it. But this Ten of Swords here talks about like a disaster or something. And you're wondering if your person is, I believe, going through some type of an ending. Or if, if maybe their whole world is kind of coming to an end or most likely here. Let's see what they say about the Ten of Swords in this deck. And this is great misfortune, ruin, and disa disaster. Yeah, and so that's what you are like. <clears throat> you are kind of thinking, you're wondering this about them, especially with the, ten, the Two of Pentacles right here. So in the challenge for you is the Five of Swords. This talks about <clears throat> self-limitation, maybe somebody kind of, uh, you know, uh, bid on more that they could chew, kind of. In other words, too many things going on in their life. Uh, maybe your person was with another, was with somebody else. Because there is some type of uh, questioning your life when the identity card shows up, especially with the braid. Yeah. <clears throat> So you might have thought, or this could be also self-limiting, self-limitations. Maybe somebody, like I said, kind of had too much going on or they were limiting themselves in a way. I feel like this, you're wondering if this person is either coming from an ending or they're going to end something or they went through something difficult here because you want to revitalize it with them, Sagittarius. Here you are. Either that or you want them to come over and you're going to do a facial on them, right? Mm-hmm. They don't forget about, uh, you know, the vagina part, all right? <laughs> so sad. Oh, my God. Here's the two of pentacles here. This is going to be in your fear and your doubt. This is uh, family or wealth. And here's the housewife holding up the mansion, right? Mm-hmm. And so I feel like you're afraid. That for some of you guys, this person has a family. Or they're married to somebody. Their challenge is the death card. Like they have to end something. Yeah, either that or you were making sandwiches, Sagittarius, in the past with uh, salmonella uh, mayonnaise here. And we know what brand that is, right? It tastes really good, but uh, I'm not saying they all have salmon salmonella. I'm saying that uh, they're made with uh, soybean oil, which is really uh, toxic. <laughs> okay. So, you know, this is in your person's challenge years, everything expires real salmonella right <laughs> and they're showing the flies here everything expires real salmonella and the food is dead here it's all like rotten and the flies are showing up here your person has to end something like i just said or they think when they show up you're gonna like you know do something throw this throw this jar of mayonnaise at them sagittarius right Mm -hmm. probably eating this is more toxic than having this, uh, this jar thrown at your head. All right. <laughs> Let's see what we have here, right? <laughs> I feel like if you're making the problem with this is that with this particular, uh, kind here is that if you're, you know, you're making a big, what do you call that stuff? A big, uh, a big potato salad to go to a picnic. I mean, how are you going to go to the store and buy an organic, uh, little tiny bottle, right? Cause You'd have to buy, they all come smaller with organic. So you'd have to buy three of them. And you're like, well, I don't want to spend, you know, $50 on, uh, on uh, potato salad or macaroni salad today. So <clears throat> I'm going to have to go with this brand, right? <laughs> so let's see what we have here. And, you know, this is showing up in your person's challenge. So, you know, your person as a fool in the past, they have the empress, Right. And here I said in the beginning of the reading, I feel like they're probably jumping off a roof, rooftop to come be with you. They could be. And that could be literal. If you guys know what I mean, like really kind of running away from home or a situation. And I feel like this is probably what you want this person to do for some of you guys. You want them to end something. Right. <clears throat> mm hmm. Yeah, they've been, this person here with the sunglasses card, uh, watching, looking, yeah. And maybe they have gaslighted you in the past or done something to you in the past because with the death card, they might've had you as a third party for some. And this person is thinking of leaving 
or they left whoever they're with for some that is the story here and for some they're trying to leave some type of belief system or a career they don't want anymore that has really kind of questioned their whole life has made them question their life they want to make new memories with you sagittarius they do with the camera and the keepsake isn't that cute sagittarius keepsakes right reminiscing learning from the past for me this person has learned i forgot to mention uh over here uh these two cards from my deck i think i did financial issues this person uh one of you guys are having financial issues right uh and you know and we have they're jaded this person here has like i feel like they're probably jaded which kind of means like a little like hurt kind of or maybe a little angry from the past. And now, you know, usually people who are jaded are worried about the future, right? Because yeah. Okay. So maybe they went through something really hard here, right? Or they're going through something hard. And of course, I think I mentioned this one, they want another chance. So here they have the Empress. This is in their current energy. And so we see the woman, she's at her little infomercial here with her card table. And uh, she's holding up her recipes for success. She has, uh, looks like she has like some food items here. She's trying to make something here. Uh, she's trying to sell something, this cake, it's here in the picture, right? And so, you know, she's making it natural, it looks like, because, you know, she, they're not showing a cake mix here. No, she has her, uh, you, you can actually make cakes natural, you can. Uh, you know, I feel like some people don't even know that because they're like, well, we're so used to going to the store and getting like the box, right? I'm like, oh my gee. So, uh, which is, you know, it's unhealthy, but you know, once in a while it's okay. But long story short, this card, the Empress talks about somebody's very nurturing and this woman's holding up the recipes for success. This person is thinking about success with you. There's no other way to look at this. And that is really all about nurturing energy. Yeah. And somebody who's very kind and sweet, like somebody who's good. Your person is thinking that, you know, Sagittarius is like not only sexy, but a good person. Yeah, this is motherhood, poise, and nurturing. A feminine force to be reckoned with. Wow, the Empress is the earthly mother to housewives everywhere. And she spreads her wisdom of domesticity across the land. Maybe that she is warm, you see, comforting and perfectly poised and coiffed. Not sure what coiffed is, but it has to do with po poised, I believe, with just a, a touch of authority to complement her nurturing charm. Your person really like respects and admires you. And I feel like they went off and they didn't realize they, uh, for some, they didn't realize maybe they were with somebody, right? But the Empress, you know, they think the, that you are like not only nurturing, but like strong. I mean, there's you, that's beautiful, right? And that's what people need to, uh, these young people or, or whoever, all of us need to aspire to be, unless you've already gotten there, right? Aspire to be strong, but kind, right? Right now they're putting this narrative out that, uh, I don't, you need to like be mean to people and, uh, you need to teach kids all this garbage in the school and, uh, forget about your liberties and all this stuff. And this is what they used to teach. Be kind, but strong. Yeah, that's what they did, right? Until they uh, brought on their uh, culty, culty uh, belief system that they got going on that they're trying to drag everybody into. Four of Pentacles, uh, Sagittarius, showing up here. And this is holding on. This is what they're on, on their mind. She's holding her cadenza because she, she has her mother's uh, beautiful china in here, right? And yeah. So I have my mom's China too. And so she's holding on to that and, you know, but she's holding on to it. Like, don't take it away. Like, I really want this. Right. And so this is next to the death card and the Empress, your person. This is very clear here. What's on their mind is holding on to you. They think that you are nurturing and strong. They admire you. They think you're sexy with the body and the full card. I feel like they already jumped off the rooftop somewhere. I don't know where that, where that is, right? They got a pitched roof here. <laughs> and in the challenge is the death card. As I said, they want to end something here or break some kind of a mold, maybe end how they have treated you and return to you possibly, because this is ending some type of either belief system or a relationship because it's next to the death card. This is what they're hoping to do. And they want to rebuild 
uh, this jello mold with you, Sagittarius. Maybe they like jello, right? Mm-hmm. I only like jello with a lot of delicious fruit in it, but uh, I'm really kind of weird about it because I really know what it's made out of, right? Yeah. So we have the five of pentacles. Yeah. And they put a lot of fake colors in there, which are really unhealthy for sure. It is for your, for your brain and all this stuff, right? Five of pentacles is going to be their fear and their doubt. They're fearing like destruction. And here she is uh, crying and throwing these dishes on the ground. But for me, this is financial loss. It could be because these are pentacles. And your person here, somebody has financial issues. So let's look here before we go to the extended. Let's see what we have for uh, your person had some type of an epiphany here. And they could be sacrificing something in their life, whatever that is, belief systems, cults, <laughs> so, uh, people, whatever, right? And yeah, a cult is just uh, when people believe, when they believe in something and they're being asked to sacrifice something. And right now they're asking us to sacrifice everything, our car, uh, our lifestyle, our, you know, our financial uh, stability. Yeah, they are. So let's, let's, I don't mean your person, Sagittarius, in case you know, in case you're kind of not paying close attention. Let's look at what's in your challenge, Sagittarius, the five of swords. And here you were trying to make a dress for yourself. You were, and you real. I remember I tried to make one a long time ago. Uh, well, I mean, you know, yeah, with a little, uh, maybe skill I had. <laughs> that's a hilarious, but that's not easy to do. No, it's not. And uh, you need to kind of, I feel like somebody needs to teach you how to do this stuff, right? Cut patterns and all this stuff, right? Let's see what we have, you guys. And we have the king of swords. This is in your challenge. Okay, you might feel like this person doesn't want to make adjustments in their life. Yeah, or they're stubborn or something like that. Because that king of swords is a real stubborn guy in this deck. And so, you know, with the five of swords, with like limiting and restrictions, you feel like this person won't make some type of an adjustment. But they are. Major adjustments. Remember, they want to break the mold down here, Sagittarius, whatever that mold is, right? And let's look at the death card for them in the challenge. We have the chariot. They have to take a chance or a risk. And we see the fool, uh, the little girl here who looks like, you know, kind of an artist with a feather on her cap here. But, you know, she's taking a risk, right? I told you, remember, I told you she's dropping all her stuff. And she says, screw it. I'm going off to have fun with Sagittarius, Right. So the death card is here in the challenge and the chariot and the chariot Sagittarius is showing these happy housewives, you happy housewives. Yeah, they were happy uh, if they were married to somebody nice and good for sure. They were, they didn't have to go out to work and you know, uh, no, they didn't. They got to stay home and, uh, some of them had how, uh, somebody to help them with the house too, but they stayed home and they were, you know, dinner was ready when their husband got home and there was no stress right? And the kids were happy. Uh, their mom, you know, was home after school for sure. But long story short, you guys, yeah, all that's gone away. And that is not by a uh, chance. Good God. No. All right. And so, you know, this chariot is this uh, green station wagon. I can't help but laugh at this stuff, you know, uh, because I remember this stuff when I was a kid, right? And so it has the wood paneling on it. They're trying to make it like it's a house, right? With the wood paneling. <laughs> But, you know, uh, here they're holding up these cans that say risk, gain, choice, and tarot. And they, you know, they bought this canned food. Uh, they didn't know that it was unhealthy in those days because, you know, they're holding too much of it up in this bag, right? But, uh, you know, this talks about taking a chance and a journey because the chariot is in the back here or movement. This person's taking a chance here and in the challenge is the death card. Everything expires for a reason. Yeah. And so, uh, mm -hmm. they might be something, they might be in a situation here that is kind of diseased maybe, <laughs> but even if it's not, it's, it looks like it's expiring, whatever that is. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. let's see what that, why they have the five of pentacles in their fear. Let's see what they have to say about it really. But, uh, it's pretty, pretty much is this financial loss that they are fearing and we see financial issues over here with my deck, right? Yeah. Right here. Financial issues. Uh, let's have a look at the five of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Where are those five of pentacles at? OMG. <clears throat> yep. Financial loss, misfortune, and poverty. 
So they're either afraid you're broke, Sagittarius, when they show up, or they're afraid they're going to lose money after they break some type of a mold or some type of an ending in their life. So we're going to go to the extended, and uh, yeah, we're going to see how they feel, how they're looking at this, what they might want to say to you. We're going to look at their near future. I feel like it's uh, this fool card jumping off this rooftop to come be with you. Yeah, we're going to see what you don't know about them and how they're looking at this whole situation we are. And uh, mm -hmm. we're going to see what's challenging them one more time. Yeah, we're just going to we're just going to get a whole bunch of cards on them. We're also going to use uh, two decks, right, to kind of really corner this person, corner their thoughts, right, Sagittarius? Thanks so much for joining me here. Uh, and the extendeds are all super affordable. The link is below. And uh, thank you so much, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.